honestly, I don't believe in conspiracy theories or anything like that. But one thing I do believe is that there is some sort of arsenal agenda out there. My question to you guys is, do you believe that there's an arsenal agenda? And do you believe that Mikel Arteta is being targeted by the FA, the PGMOL, and this whole situation where he had to get a lawyer to basically free him or prove that he was not guilty or not proven by, by, by what happened the other day? Now, if you don't know, let me just give you guys a quick synopsis. After the Newcastle game, Mikel Arteta made some comments about the referees and those comments did not go down so well with the FA. The FA have since decided to subsequently charge Mikel Arteta. Those charges were then uh, proven not uh, not uh, not guilty or not proven uh, based on what they ended up saying that Mikel Arteta didn't. Mikel Arteta basically was proven not was not found guilty and was cleared of everything because they could not prove that. Anything he said was to insult the referees, to damage the game, or to call anybody incompetent. He was just basically vaguely referring to VAR and the decisions that VAR have made. And guess what? The Premier League themselves have said this in the past. So we're going to get into this. We're going to get into everything. And we're going to show you guys that there's clearly an agenda. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't done so already, do that right now. Let's get the show started. Okay, so I found what I was looking for, and I'm going to show you guys right now uh, as as we, as it pertains to what I'm talking about. But if you guys don't already know, I'm just going to show you guys the FA, um, the FA, what they what they had to say about Mikel Arteta because this was this was very interesting to say the least. Mikel Arteta was quite happy that he was cleared of all charges as he spoke on Sky Sports the other day. But I'm just going to show you guys what what took place in, in case you don't know. So. First, here's the FA spokesperson. An independent regulatory commission found the charges of Mikel Arteta alleged breaches of, of FA Rule 3.1 to be not proven. Instead of saying he's innocent or it's not guilty or whatever, been cleared, they just said not proven to not make themselves look silly. And if you guys haven't actually seen the full document, I will actually go on the page and I will show you guys the full document right now. So... This is the FA's page. Uh, let me just see what it looks like on here. Uh, so yeah, this is the FA's page. And then there's this document here. So if you scroll and you click on that document, you can actually see it. And then what, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go to that document here. And then I'm going to scroll down all the way to the conclusion just to show you guys what they concluded with. What they concluded with was that he was cleared of all, all charges everything. So here's the conclusion. So the conclusion, uh, they concluded that uh, did not insult match officials, did not bring the game into uh, distribute, and were not detriment to the best interest of the game, because that is what they were saying he was. Now, first things first, even after he was, uh, he was found not guilty for all these charges, they still, they still the FA effectively tried to argue that Mikel Arteta was more worthy of punishment than any uh, than than other managers because of his high profile, and that arguably was rejected uh, by the independent uh, commission. This basically means that they wanted Mikel Arteta suspended because he's a high profile manager, which is an absolute joke. This is a joke. This cannot be serious. This confirms everything that we've been saying, that we are being targeted because of the profile of the manager and the club. The reason why Mikel Arteta has a big profile is because of the size of the club. That means they're treating Arsenal different to other clubs. They are not treating us the same as all 20 teams in the league. And that right there is not right. This needs to be called out. This cannot be happening in today's football. You cannot have a situation in which where the FA are basically not being able to be held accountable by anybody, but yet they want to criticize or punish managers because they're Arsenal manager. I don't see Klopp 
Pep, who are much higher profiles of managers getting the same level of, of, of abuse. Don't forget that Jose, not Jose, that recently they even stated on on um, one of one of those shows uh, that that the the what show was it? They recently stated uh, Gary Neville even stated that they changed they changed the rules in the Premier League because Mikel Arteta was doing too much movement on the touchline. Let me show you guys what that said. Let me just show you guys that quick little clip. This I think this is very useful here. Just goes to show you the ars the anti Arsenal agenda that fully exists in today's in today's world. Check this out. The non league um, coach, and they had this sort of briefing pre season about the sort of uh, touchline behaviour, and they said that Arteta was a big reason that that was brought in for the last season's behaviour. They got a yellow card. So do you see that Arteta's behaviour last season was the reason why he got the touch? Why why they introduced this touchline stuff? They're making changes to rules because of Arteta. And don't forget, he got a touchline ban for celebrating the other day. Celebrating. Yes, for a celebration, Mikel Arteta got suspended for the game against Aston Villa. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, I have never seen other managers get suspended for celebrating. I have not seen... Chris Wilder get celebrate uh, get thing. I did not see Jose taunting the other uh, other ref other uh, not Jose uh, Pep Guardiola taunting other people getting getting punished. But yet Mikel Arteta gets a touchline ban. Yes, Mikel Arteta got a touchline ban, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm looking at, so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Because I was I was I still can't believe that Mikel Arteta Mikel Arteta is set to face a touchline ban. Yes, the manager is set to face a ban from the touchline against Aston Villa, which already happened due to the celebration for the last minute winner versus Declan Rice versus Luton Town. Guys, this is this was a joke. We already know this. This was clearly him being targeted, but we can't prove it. All I know is that it's not consistent because you don't see Chris Wilder getting a uh, for Sheffield United getting a a, 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 a yellow card for for celebrating. You don't see other managers in the Premier League getting yellow cards for celebrating. For God's sake, Klopp jumped on the pitch, chest bumped Allison, and never got a yellow card. So at this point, it's not even a conspiracy. And then to end it all off, the final the icing to the cake. Just all I needed was one more little piece of proof that the media and all these people are somewhat against us. And then, poof, they just give it. When you ask, you shall receive the telegraph. Letting Mikel Arteta off the hook for sends a mixed message over referee abuse from Oliver Brown. First of all, this is a poor piece of journalism. If you guys don't know, I had to reply, and I was one of the top replies where I said, Message over referee abuse. Did you not read the document? Mikel Arteta was cleared on three different levels of what was said, and they determined that what he said was not abusive to referees. So he's clearly lied. And Twitter, thank God, Elon Musk, uh, Elon Musk has done what he's done because they have put him in his place with this misleading article stating that Mikel Arteta has been proven not guilty by independent commission and cleared of all wrongdoings. So to write this article is just clearly targeting him. But yeah, that's not the FA. At this point, it's the Telegraph. But yeah, I think I've proven my point that the Arsenal agenda has been confirmed. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Personally, I don't think it's going to affect us winning the league this season because even with the FA and all these people doing what they're doing, we, we just have to continue doing our job. They're going to try to screw us over. We just have to keep doing our job because it's going to get to a point where even if they give away dodgy penalties to the other opponent, we're still going to find a way to hopefully win this league. But you know what? Arsenal agenda has been confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. Mikel Arteta and Arsenal are being targeted. And you guys think of it as you wish. But to me, it's been confirmed. I'm out of here, people. Love for the love. Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos that I've been doing lately. And I'm going to keep them up. Check my Twitter out. And, of course, my TikTok and my Ego Talk Football YouTube channel right here. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. And I'll be doing more of these videos more often. But leave me a comment, and I'll, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm out.